Yo guys, what is up? Davis here. So this video is going to show you guys how to install or switch a GTA 5 mod menu. Uh, mainly this video is going to be showing you guys how to switch it because I got a lot of you guys asking that. So anyway, uh, you're going to need two things. I'm going to show both ways how to do this with neighborhood and with the USB. So if you have a Mac or something like that, uh, you don't, you don't got to worry about neighborhood. So down below, uh, if you're going to use a USB, skip to that part. Uh, but this part right now, I'm going to show you how to do it with Neighborhood. So anyway, install Neighborhood if you don't have it. Uh, go to the description, download it, install it. Uh, make sure you click the Skip Add button if you uh, click the link to download it. Anyway, second thing you're going to need is your mod menu. And uh, the GTA 5 mod menu is going to be an XEX file. Uh, if you have it in a RAR file or something like that, then like something like this, uh, you're just gonna click right click on it. I don't know what this is Don't ignore that, but you're gonna right click on it and then click extract Or you can just open it up and then drag the contents right out to the desktop either way works doesn't matter anyway, what you're you're mainly wanting this uh, .xcx file on your desktop, so what you're gonna do first is you're gonna open up neighborhood go to JTAG retail hard drive and right in here is your uh, stuff and um, if you don't know how to add your uh, JTAG which I should have mentioned before I went in there you're gonna click add Xbox 360 and uh, type in your IP address which can be found um, if you go into XCX menu and then click LB that the IP address should be like right there somewhere so um, anyway go to JTAG and so as you can see I already got Pandora I got some GTA 5 mod menus on here already um, and I, I want to switch it so say I have like Pandora or the purge or whatever doesn't matter um, what you're gonna do is you're gonna drag and drop this over here and click copy and replace if you already have one on here and you're gonna open this up and you're going to scroll down to uh, plugins right here. And plugin two should usually be your cell server, which I don't have one set. So, um, whoops. So just say that is your cell server, and then. Um, and then plugin three is going to be your GTA 5 mod menu. So um, you're going to copy this name right here. And you're going to paste that in there. Whatever your name is for your mod menu, it doesn't matter. Um, and then make sure you type in the XEX right after the mod menu. Uh, if not, it's not going to work. It's not going to load up. So pretty much this is all you have to do. Uh, it's really simple. Um, the plugin 4 should usually be GRPC2, plugin 5 should be XRPC. Uh, if your stealth server has XEGs or something, just leave XRPC or leave plugin 5, five uh, leave it blank if your uh, stealth server has XE cheats. So uh, then what we're going to do is save it, save it a few times just to make sure, you know. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go back into neighborhood. And let me. And we're going to uh, drag and drop these two files right over in here. And we're not going to put this in a folder. We're just going to drag it and drop it right into the root, and then click yes and replace all. So then we should see it. So there's our launch I and I now, and our our mod menu that we just put on here. So then what we're going to do is. Uh, that's pretty much it. All you gotta do is restart your console um, and your mod menu should be there. Uh, the next part is gonna be the USB part so I'm gonna stop this and go to that part. There guys, so I'm recording on my phone to make this thing a lot faster so uh, anyway I got that other video uh, saving right now um, so what you're gonna need is you're gonna need a flash drive. Um, flash drive looks like this and you can get these in your McDonald's Happy Meals at your local McDonald's or Wendy's. I'm just kidding, but seriously, you can go get them like at any store. Um, doesn't really matter which kind it is. Uh, 
anyway, if you have stuff on your removable disk, you're obviously, you know, you're going to plug it into your computer. And if you have stuff on it, just make a new folder, which is what I'm going to do. Name it stuff, or name it whatever you want, and I'm just going to drag and drop that stuff in there to keep it kind of cleaner. And so everything else is kind of easy to find once we start what we're doing. So, the, the files that you're going to need, obviously, um, is your mod menu. You're not going to need neighborhood, so let's put that aside. Um, so you're just going to need um, your mod menu. So I don't even need this either. Um, so here's your mod menu. That's your .xex file. And like I explained, if you have your mod menu um, and it came in like a .x .rar file like this one, just right click on it and click uh, extract uh, extract to that you know whatever the, the file name is and then it will be there and then you can open up the folder and you can view the stuff and then basically you're just going to want to drag and drop the XEX onto the desktop and then you want to drag that XEX into your flash drive just like that you don't want to put it in a folder um, you just want to you know have it there so you can see it easily so after that uh, you're going to take your flash drive so let me get mine, mine's down here okay so that screen went down now we're going to plug it into our console if I can get it in there okay so it's in there and I need a controller okay, so anyway we got that plugged into our console and what we're going to do is go to games and you're going to go to XDX menu. And you're want to you're going to want to click uh, RB right here and then you should see your mod menu right there. So we're going to click Y on that. Click copy. Then we're going to click X and go down to HDD1 and then we're going to click Y and paste. And that probably won't come up for you, but if it does, just click overwrite or click confirm, whatever. So if we go down here, we should see our mod menu, and there it is. So yeah, um, we're going to go all the way back up, and you're going to look for dash launch, okay? Um, now dash launch, it, it might be in one set of files, depending if you got your console from me or not. Um, if you got your console for me, it's going to be in one setup file. So go to dash launch and then installer and then default.xex. And then you're going to go to, want to go down to plugins. And then um, you're going to want to uh, set your plugin. Plugin 2 should actually be your stealth server. So if you click A on it and then click hard drive. And then let's just say advocate live. Uh, that's a stealth server. Uh, plugin one needs to be uh, it, it, plugin one needs to be XBDM. Plugin two needs to be Advocate, and plugin three is your GTA Five mod menu. So we're just gonna go all the way down to the mod menu, and so yeah, that's that's pretty much it. If you're, if uh, your stealth server has uh, XEX cheat or XE cheats or something like that. Uh, you can actually delete plugin five because then it'll it'll um, if you don't delete plugin five, it'll cause issues and won't let stuff load for XE cheats. So um, anyway, if you're you know if all your other plugins are set already and you have your mod menu there and you just want to switch it out, then just ignore everything else besides switching that mod menu. So. You know, if you have everything here and it's all done, like say this is Ninja, you have Pandora and stuff like that, and you want to switch Pandora to something else, just click A, go to hard drive once it loads, if it asks, that time it didn't ask, and just, you know, go to whatever mod menu you want and select it, and it's that simple. And then you can click uh, RB, and you need to do this, click RB and go down to HDD, and you're going to click X only on that if you click a 
what it does, um, if you click A before you click X, it's just going to reload your settings, your old settings, and you don't want that. If you, if you do that, you'll have to go back and do it all again. So, uh, after you do all that, just restart your console and it's all done. And your mod menu should load up. If your mod menu doesn't load up, then it's most likely a bad uh, mod menu or doesn't work. Or, so yeah guys, that's the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching.